You know, there's not one fighter that fight exactly like, even though they may look like it, there's still the expression is different because your personality comes out in it. A side of me comes out when I'm competing that in real life, I'm not like that. When I compete, I'm cocky sometimes. I'm arrogant. But that's not for the fans at home. That's for my opponent. I don't fight to prove that I'm tough. I already know I'm tough. You know? I fight because it's inside of me. We all are fighters. Every single person who walks this earth is a fighter. Everything that lives, to live is to fight. You know? And, and we just fight in just different arenas. Uh-oh. It's in the water. He ain't jumping in the water, I'll tell you that. You want the ball, want the ball. Go get it. Go get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Man, you slow. You slow. I'm always afraid before I compete. Before I fight, I'm always, I'm always afraid. I'm always like that, that feeling. And um, before I used to have a hard time just dealing with it because I would try to run away from it. But then as I competed more, I understood the fact that this is how I'm supposed to feel. The biggest thing for me, whenever I compete, accept it. You know, I used to have a sports like in GSP, we used to use the same one. And uh, he used to have this drill that we used to do. And we would stand in the mirror and just say, I don't give a fuck. And just say it over and over and over again until you really start to really feel it inside. Like, I don't give a fuck. And when you're saying that, you're really saying like, I don't give a fuck if I get laughed at. I don't give a fuck if I get knocked out in one second. I don't give a fuck if, 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 if it's the worst fight I ever had. I don't give a fuck. And then once you start breaking down all those things, all those feelings, all those fears that you may have that becomes barriers, that becomes the red lights, that becomes a thing that keeps you from competing at your best, then you're able to just free yourself and just go. Rashad, everybody knows Rashad, of course, he's, he started this. Rashad is just, uh, he's so funny. He's never really down. Well, he had a lot of stuff uh, going around the last year with a lot of personal stuff, but he still always smiles, brings, brings good stuff, good energy to the gym. And especially at this moment when he's right before the fight with Nogueira, he has a good, good vibe, good energy, and then Rashad is very good you know, in his role as one of the mentors of the gym and one of, uh, one of the fighters. Growing up, I was like a crazy kid. A lot of energy, always wrestling, always fighting. I grew up in Niagara Falls, New York. You know, it, it was fun there. You know, you had the falls there and everything else. Growing up, I played football, I wrestled, and I even ran track a little bit. But my last high school football game, you know, we were in the semis in the playoffs, and um, my team lost. It kind of like struck a chord to me because no matter how good of a game I had, I still didn't win the game and I didn't want to do it anymore because I was like, if I'm gonna lose, I want to be on me. I want to be the one who was holding the blame for losing. I don't want to have to um, be able to second, you know, doubt my my, uh, my teammates or anything else like that because they didn't come through on their end. And I was like, you know, when I lose, I like to lose for me. It's not normal how strong he is, how fast. He already did very good, of course, he was a champion, but we want to see him like bang, like the old days. Just go out there and just don't care, just go, just do it. The first time I stepped into the cage, it was like a rush that I never felt before. It was a different kind of excitement because it was married with fear. And it was something I never had as a competitor before because even as wrestling, no matter how big the stage was, I still never had that fear of like, you know, like you do when you have a fight. I found comfort in just playing around and joking and just, you know, that helped me relax a little bit more. But the first time I stepped in the cage, it was like, I was like, wow, this is going down. Rashad is like a character, man. I mean, you see him, he's smiling, he's making fun. Uh, but Rashad, yeah, when he's here, he works hard. He works hard and he does what he needs to do, you know. We like to train hard and we hit hard, but we still smile. 
you know, if you knock somebody out, if you knock somebody down, you have somebody in the choke, you still smile after it, you know, we work together. And Rashad is just a, a good guy with that. You know, I've heard some, some people say like, oh, he's made it, you know, and uh, whatever that means, but I understand the concept behind it, what they're saying. What they're saying is the fact that he's known, he's been around in the game, he's been in the fight game for a while, and being in the fight game for a while is a feat in itself especially seeing how short of a window fighters have. So uh, a lot of guys, they respect that and they gave me the respect. I am a student. I am a student of whoever I can learn from. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see myself in a position like, oh, I'm, I'm above anybody else and I'm, you know, I can never learn or no one can ever teach me anything because you, know, you learn a lot from the guys who, who are just starting off sometimes. You know, and, and sometimes when you've been in the game for a long time and you've, you've uh, you've seen a lot, it's good to get a fresh sense, a fresh energy from somebody because somebody may come in who hasn't been in the game for a long time, who's just, you know, got an energy about him. You know, that's one thing about John Jones that I like most about training with him. He was my favorite trainer partner to train with because he helped me be more creative because when I was training with him, he would always do something out of the box and he didn't really have any fear yet. Nothing, he wasn't really afraid. So he would just do whatever he would do. And it would work because people wouldn't expect it because it's not typically what you would do. But that's what made him great. And that's why I like training with him because it was like one of those things where you see somebody with a fresh new look on things, you know? And um, that's what some of these guys got coming in. They got a fresh new look on things. People only kind of gonna talk with you when you're open for it. He's open, he talks with everybody about everything, you know? Never comes into problems, never had problems, never has problems with people here. He's a very cool guy, very relaxed, laid down. Again, a good mentor for the young kids. They look up to him, but they not really need to look up to him because he's here training with them, doing just normal. I mean, he has nothing to do with stardom or something. He knows, he's just a fighter. And I know from my own experience, I mean, I was a champion too. It takes a very short time. A long time to get there, but a very short time to fall down and nobody cares about you anymore. And he sees that, he's just normal with the guys, doesn't really matter. To compete against me is a mistake. He shouldn't be in a cage with me, even though I may respect him immensely. And that's my mindset when I compete. Because for one second, if I give him too much respect, then he's already raising his leg on me. And I can't be pissed on. I refuse. I piss on people, I don't get pissed on. And that's gotta be my mindset. But that's different than me in real life. In real life, I'm passive, I'm calm. Uh, I don't get upset a lot, you know? I'm a nice person, but when I compete, it's a different thing. It's a different expression. I always wanna be around the sport. You know, whether it's being an MMA analyst or rather it's um, uh, helping out guys on a team, I always wanna be part of the sport. You know, this sport has done amazing things for me. If I couldn't laugh, I couldn't smile, if I couldn't have jokes with my friend, then there'd be no sense of living. So for me, that, that makes me uh, enjoy life more. That makes me enjoy practice more. That makes me enjoy this time that we have with each other because that's what it's about, man. Life is a celebration. The fact that I was able to get up and train in the morning and the fact that I was able to train and sweat and be able to do this and, and, and get this grinding with these guys, that's a blessing. That right there is a celebration. One day, these will just be memories that I have, and one day, I'll be too old to do it, and, and I'm gonna wish that I enjoyed it more. So I try to enjoy it as much as possible. Mm -hmm.